Um, it was good because it was on the back of a couple of wins, so that always helps. Um, yeah, but it was nice to get a break. Uh, it allowed a few, uh, the lads earned a few days off, um, obviously because of their performances as well. And it just, uh, I, th I think it helped everybody just recharge the batteries a little bit. Um, so we've done that. It's also allowed a few of our injured players to come back and uh, we're nearing on a, on a fully fit squ squad now, which is pleasing. Yeah, so uh, we've got Billy Gilmore back. Uh, obviously, we've got Matthias Norman back. Um, Lucas Rupp and, and Andrew Amabamadeli are both um, back on the on the grass and training with us, but I probably won't consider them for, for Wolves, but they'll be ready for, for Palace in a week. So, you know, four big players really coming back who've been missing for, you know, uh, at least five to six weeks. I think there's always been the belief um, the hard part was going through you know, the, the run of defeats that we had. Um, but we were also very aware that, you know, we had eight or nine players out injured at the time. So it wasn't a true reflection of ourselves. So, you know, uh, getting them performances and them victories, but more importantly, the likes of, you know, Josh Sargent and Adam Ida getting their first Premier League goals as well, probably just gives them individually a big lift as well. Um, you know, and... Uh, I always say to players before in any cup game, you know, you, you, you're given three opportunities to win something a season. Um, you know, if you have a good career, that's not very op not very many opportunities to win something. And this is one of them, uh, the FA Cup. So, you know, it's a big competition. And I've said to our players, you know, you only, you only play five or six games to, to get to the final. So what an opportunity you've got and one we're looking forward to. So, you know, going... I know it's an all Premier League clash. Uh, I know Wolves are in, in really good form, uh, but it's one that we're looking forward to. We were all uh, hoping that um, Todd could recapture the form that we'd all seen in the previous Premier League campaign. And, you know, I gave him uh, a start in my very first game and, you know, we've been working very hard with him. But unfortunately, he just didn't recapture that form. Um, you know, and he felt it was, you know, the right time to go and get some games elsewhere um you know and yeah he wasn't in the in the squad at the time uh, because of his form and whether that be down to a you know a lack of confidence uh, I don't know but you know it certainly wasn't a lack of attitude um you know I found him a really good young man to work with um who had a good attitude he just hadn't recaptured that form for whatever reason I think both parts of what you said the latter part supporters love a cup competition they love a good run um, you know, uh, there's still a, a big tradition of the FA Cup and supporters want to see their, their teams going out to try and win it. Um, you know, we will be trying to do that as well. Um, but I'm also a big believer of, of that momentum, you know, going to Charlton and not playing as well as uh, we, we could, but we was on a run of defeats at the time. Getting that win just broke that that uh, sequence and, um, you know, just won back-to-back -back Premier League games as well. So uh, going into an all-Premier League fixture in the FA Cup is going to be tough, but one that we're looking forward to and, and hoping that we can go and progress. Tim Krull still out. Um, I said it was going to be five or six weeks. Um, I still think it will be. Um, he's doing some light handling work at the moment, but as he's a shoulder injury, we have to be very careful for the, for the goalkeeper. Yeah, I, I think... You know, um, we made significant uh, signings during the summer, Josh being one of them. Um, but we knew that he had the potential. We, we've had to wait for, for him to integrate, um, you know, and, and find his feet, which he has done. I think his performances have been good. Um, what he's needed is the goals. And he's, he's got the goals now against Watford in the last game. And it will certainly give him a big boost as, as well as the other, his other teammates as well. So... Um, you know, it's a, it's a big confidence boost. Yeah, Lung is better than what we, we thought. It was a, a medial ligament injury, um, but he's back doing linear running on the, on the grass now, which we didn't expect him to be at this stage. So um, he's, he's healing a lot quicker than we actually expected. So he won't be out for too much longer. Yeah, well, I've said before that I want my players to be adaptable. I, I want them to be able to, to play different formations for different games and... Uh, you know, having the options now allows us to do that. Um, as you know, we, we didn't have them options, uh, you know, to us. So, you know, we pretty much uh, played with the players that we had and the, the, the players fitted 
and the suit the system ended up fitting the players, so to speak. So now we've got the options, and now we can uh, you know change it around a little bit, which is great for us. Well, I think there's always a balancing act because uh, first and foremost, we want to go and win the football game. We want to get through to the next round of the FA Cup. And to do that against uh, an informed Premier League team, you've got to be playing players who are who would inform. So, you know, I'll be looking at their players and, and choosing the ones which I feel can go and play a three-game week, which is pretty much what we've got. Um, but also balancing, you know, knowing the fact that we've got a three-game week, uh, balancing out which players can play and which get, which players need some minutes. So um, hopefully we get the balancing that right. That's the art of, of uh, being the head coach and, um, you know, uh, we'll have a strong team tomorrow.